heaven hear me now I'm lost without a cause After giving it my all Winter storms have come And darkened my sun After all that I've been through Who on earth can I turn to? I look to you After all, my strength is gone. In you, I can be strong. I look to you. I look to you. And when melodies are gone, in you, I hear a song. I look to you. Searching for that open door And every road I've taken Led to my regret And I don't know if I'm gonna make it Nothing to do but lift my head I look to you Time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. From dust, uh, we we to dust return, and, uh, and so this burial we're representative not only of the fact that Mark was given life, uh, but that God is sovereign over life, and we are entrusting him back to God who's created all things. I want to take a few moments. I'm going to read scripture, some thoughts to leave with us. Though we will in some way be separated from Mark, never hear the laugh quite the same way. If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who can condemn? It is Christ who died and furthermore is also risen. Even now is seated at the right hand of God and makes intercession for us. Who then shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, yet in all of these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This bit of ground, this bit of earth, will be Mark's final resting place. Insofar as his earthly body is concerned, but we can encourage one another and we declare to one another today that this in fact is not 
Mark's final place of living and of life. He awaited, through much pain and suffering and tears, he awaited with joy and anticipation a glorious new life and new body. There is coming a day when we will encounter Mark again. He will have a perfect, flawless, painless, tearless frame. This is the promised and the gift of God to us.